how to make Colorado safer. Today, Governor Jared Polis, a handful of law enforcement officials, and several members of the state legislature unveiled what they call a comprehensive public safety plan of action. That will include several bills to be introduced to address things like training and retaining law enforcement, grants for mental health and in schools, among other things. The governor saying this will improve public safety in Colorado by doing the following. This plan gives our men and women in law enforcement more support for recruitment and training. It helps ensure that law enforcement reflects the diversity of our communities that they serve. It'll build on the efforts, successful efforts of community policing models, increase access to mental health services, and fund early intervention grants to prevent crime from happening in the first place. The governor adding the goal is to make Colorado a top 10 safest state in the country within the next five years. Now we want to add some depth and perspective to some of the things the governor and speakers talked about, starting with who was absent from that news conference and why. Ahead of the governor's news conference, several of the largest law enforcement groups in Colorado signed onto a letter to the governor disagreeing with his policies as well as recent legislation passed in Colorado when it comes to crime. Now, the county sheriffs of Colorado, the Colorado Fraternal Order of Police, and the Colorado Association of Chiefs of Police said in that letter that several recent laws passed by the legislature and signed by the governor actually made things worse when it comes to crime in our state. The letter, in part, asks elected officials to recognize that changes from the state level, quote, directly contributed to rising crime rates and struggles to recruit and retain officers. This is why all three of those organizations were not at the governor's news conference. So let's look at where crime rates are. Murders are up in recent years, the high by far of 357 in 2021. Sexual assault has gone up and down over the last half decade. Assault is up to the highest level in five years, as is robbery, though that's a much more recent increase. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez was at the governor's news conference and will be gathering more perspectives for our reporting tonight on Denver 7 News at 4, 5, and 6.